It's Kanye Westy's birthday. He's stoked. He created a game for you. It's called nice. Cartoon Kennel Club. As we know, in, in the pantheon of cartoons, dogs tend to take the lead. I know we've got a rabbit and a frog in the room, but, <laughs> but the pups, there are so many. So what we've created is a quiz game with eight different cartoon dogs. I'm going to give you a series of clues on each and see who can guess the most. And the winner is going to get a pound of coffee from my favorite in the Northwest and beyond, North Fresh. Wow. Coffee roasters. A dog right. pound of coffee. Got a sponsored game. I love it. <laughs> sponsored game. Okay, so here we go. We've got eight of them. The clues will get increasingly easier. The first one will be when they debuted. The first one to get it right, and feel free to shout them out uh, as we go. We'll get the point. There we got eight of them. Here we go. Cartoon Kennel Club. Eric Bowser, Matt Danner. Number one, this cartoon dog debuted in 1968. A mix of Bloodhound, Pointer, Airedale and Hunting Dog. He was a sidekick of Dick Dastardly. Bloodly. That is a tie. Wow. <laughs> Did you say is there, two, is there are two Georges joining us? Uh, two Georges. Georges. Uh, who, Georges. Speak in stereo. That was an answer in stereo. That is a point. All right. <laughs> for Danner and Bowser. Same time. Same time. Okay, here we go. This cartoon dog at the Cartoon Kennel Club debuted in 1976 of the Bicentennial, a Dachshund Terrier mix known for slobbering and annoying an orange cat. The ignorant Odie. There you go. It's Odie. Woo. There you go, Danner. <laughs> well done. It is Odie. Uh, orange cat. I was like... Hello. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. You know, well, I, I immediately thought Heathcliff for some reason. And it's just right. I just I just watched that intro again because I was using it for animation reference. Which, by the way, I'm trying to get the uh, uh, sidetrack sidetrack sponsored answer. Uh, yes. Trying to get the <laughs> licensing rights to to create Heathcliff T-shirts. That's awesome, dude. Uh, oh my I want to do the Alley Cats though, not not Heathcliff, but like... oh yeah, the uh, uh, the cattle. Uh, they were the Cadillac Cadillac cats, Cadillac Cats. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I like hey this. there, oh. my name's Riff Raff. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Chloe. Anyway, there's sorry. that one that always rhymed too. That was like, hey, we're gonna yeah. go over here now. He had, he had uh, the, the big one was Mongo. Yeah. <laughs> and I forgot the other two. The rhyming one on roller skates, and right. then like the the cool guy with the tie. Uh, yeah. Well, he was like right. the like the jock, right? Like he was the one that was always working out or something. Yeah. He had the headband. Yeah. Yeah. See, you you knew that you were having two cartoon nerds on, but this this <laughs> level of nerddom is is uh, is definitely. I'm very proud of. Well, here yeah. the the deep dive is giving you both a bonus point, but it still puts Matt up one, uh, three to two after two questions because right. of, of cat uh, cartoon nerddom. Although, let's not offend here. No, no, no. Right. Yes, yes. This is a dog theme cartoon game. <laughs> All about dogs today. Uh, thank you very much, Rolf. Uh, here we go. Uh, this uh, cartoon pup in the Cartoon Kennel Club debuted. This is this is a recent one. 1998. A white Labrador, self-proclaimed ladies' dog, who can drive, drives a Prius. His best friends. Uh, Brian. There you go. Do we, have, oh. do we have a last name? You know the last Griffin. name. Griffin. There we go. Brian Griffin. A man's best friend. Yeah. <laughs> right. Well done. Well done. I, I realized that we drives we a to... Prius. Yeah, I know. And I was just like, <laughs> if the answers are escaping you, it's only because you haven't had your North Fresh coffee roaster. That's true. Uh, there true. you go. But, but it's coming yeah. to one of you soon. Of course, the way you guys tend to play, it could end up being a tie game, and you both win. Hey, 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 hey. All We're right. Neighbors. I'm drinking this swill. It's terrible. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> Not as good correct. as your coffee. That's a bonus point, Matt, for sliding the other coffee. Here we go. Uh, four to three. I'm, I actually gave you a bonus point for that. This is this is uh, uh, this is this. I think is our oldest cartoon dog in the Cartoon Kennel Club. 1930. He debuted a mixed breed, friends with other animals, but unlike his friends, Pluto, Goofy, Pluto. Oh, Pluto. well, <laughs> Goofy, could... is Goofy a dog though? I think he's technically like a man. See, I right? thought he was gonna say, unlike his friends, he wears pants. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well he done, yes, Pluto. Mickey's best friend, Pluto, doesn't talk. Uh, well done. Matt at five. Uh, Bows at three. It's time to catch up. Let's go to number five. 
Debuted in 1943, this is a basset hound, has a variety of occupations, including bullfighting, prison guard, and knight. Basset hound. Seeming mild-mannered at times, he has a hulk. Oh, Droopy. Uh, uh, Bowser got it. Say it again, Bowser. Droopy. Droopy the Droopy. dog. <laughs> basset hound. Yeah. Hello, all you happy people. Coffee makes me happy. <laughs> oh, my Lord. <laughs> I always thought I had a pretty good droopy the dog. I never realized yeah. you didn't have to pull yeah, I do too, actually. Oh, you you have feet. to do both. You <laughs> want the full effect. Yeah. Yay for inside cartoon <laughs> impressions. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Okay, let's keep moving here. Uh, number six. We've got ourselves a five to four game with uh, Danner up one point. Uh, and number six. Debuted in 1963. Has been a Purina spokes dog. Has musical abilities because he can play the piano. Both. There it is. Yes. <laughs> Someone you <laughs> said he had to. He had you... to get that one. Yeah, I mean, I it was, was, I was, it was a must. So, but nothing like a good undercut when you're opposite the guy who actually plays him. Well yeah, done. Of course. Of course. I, I, uh, I. What's funny though, you said Purina, and immediately I thought cat, and I was just yeah. like. I was like, feel it? No, wait, we're talking about dogs. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh well, we were we were semi hoping you'd get it wrong. That's that's yeah. <laughs> but well, I mean, wasn't R Rolf and I, I mean he was known for uh like a lot of ads, right? Was he not yeah. featured but, in like yeah, a lot was, of advertisements? The commercial commercial pup. Mm. Yeah, he he did yeah. a lot of ad stuff, but he was the Purina dog child. Purina. <laughs> yeah. mm. I love it. Okay, uh six to four. We've still got two left. There's still time, uh Bowser. Uh number seven. Uh, debuted in 1987. Uh, this is a diminutive leader of a dog gang. Hmm. An ex-con. And rival of Scrooge McDuck. Beagle Boys? No. It is, it is <laughs> yes, it is big time. Big time Beagle. There it is. Play, who, who, <laughs> has nice. anyone in the room, Georgia, has anyone in the room played big time Beagle? I, the Beagle I, Boys, I, right? I have. I'm I'm all 28 of them, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> of course he had to get that one. There was I an know, episode. He, question, he goes, be, 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 the Beagle Boy, big time? Yeah, big, yeah, be, yeah. It just depends on which one, though. That's the other thing, too, right? So big time. Big time yeah, Beagle. <laughs> be, we would have accepted any of the Beagle Boys. Uh, all right. Catching up six to five, going into the last question. Oh, We're boy. all hoping for a tie so that Aaron has to scramble and figure out another cartoon dog to add to this. <laughs> uh, debuted in 1969. A Great Dane. Scooby-Doo. Scooby oh, my. Come come on. You were. Come on, Dan. Or we were. Count, we, I, like, I was starting to talk about it, man. And then I was like, I, I, I was like, this has to be Scooby. Scooby has yet to make an yeah. appearance. In we, this, I uh, thought we would. We had to throw the easy one in at the end after the ones that are you both. It is a tie. I could say, you know, someone named the upside down beagle, but I won't. Let's just both send you coffee and call it a tie. Hey. Yay! I'm into that. Well done, gentlemen. Yes, I am too.